Hi, my name's Sebastian Green, the spiritual jewelry maker and psychic spiritual medium. In 2017, I started my spiritual development to become a spiritualist medium and light worker. I've found that I'm very psychic and I use the majority of my clairvoyant abilities during readings and when I'm making my spiritual jewellery. If you are interested in any of my services, follow the link below in the description. If you like all things spiritual and would love to see more of my content, then hit the like button and press the red button to subscribe. I upload every Friday at 7pm UK time and my content is usually spiritual. Hello to my friends and family and welcome back to my channel. So I have been very quiet this last couple of, a couple of weeks, can't speak, um, but actually it's because I've been moving city. So I now live in a student accommodation in Birmingham. Uh, so this week I'll just share with you my journey uh, to get unpacked and ready for my course. I don't think it's wise to announce publicly exactly where I live, but it's in Birmingham and it's student accommodation and this is basically the shared um, place where where I will share facil the facilities with the people that move in uh, it's our kitchen dining room uh, and our little living room so it's got everything that I need it's actually really nice um, I wish there were uh, cushions and things but we have to provide all that ourselves so I'm gonna go shopping at the weekend weekend so we've got a fully functional kitchen uh, it's quite an interesting uh, l-shaped sort of thing but it fits the space quite well so i'm going to be cooking and making meals here and freezing them and having them through the week and making some other things to take to university with me um, so that i'm not spending hundreds and hundreds of pounds this year on university food it's so expensive in there um, it's quite interesting because this flat is kitted out with a special it's like a lift for the um, for the cooker and for the sink so it actually moves up and down which is quite cool but I, I doubt we'll need it um, because I've got the the room uh, that I, that person who would need to use that um, equipment um, I'm in there so that I'm the only one so heading back down so this is uh, my room I'm right at the front door so we've got uh, my entrance way so I've got some storage just behind and I've got some Calax uh, not Calax but they are Ikea they like shoe storage and things uh, I've got a place for my coats but actually it's my recycling center uh, where I like to recycle everything and bins and things like that um, I've been to Ikea just before we arrived and got some Calaxes and this is a few bits and bobs that I bought while I was there uh, it's a few bits not too much just enough for me for now because uh, I have moved in a couple of weeks early uh, some goodies I've had some gifts bought me by friends um, so thank you to them on top I've got some jewellery stands we can't have candles but um, I just use it for my jewellery display so that, don't worry I'm not going to be lighting them anytime soon so it's a massive space and it's actually perfectly fine it's not in the way being in the corridor this is my bathroom it's quite big in fact it's really big um, and I've got a chair which is great because I love to sit down when I have a shower uh, which is strange I know but it's just it's just the way I rock um, so that's the bathroom I have got um, I've only got one window in the bedroom but it lets in enough light so this is basically um, oh here's my jewelry so I do own my own business uh, a spiritual jewelry business if you didn't hear in the beginning so this is just some of the stuff that I've got at hand if anybody makes a purchase on the website 
got like key rings and they're my bracelets, rings and things like that that are on the website people buy. Um, this is my own personal collection of charm bracelets um, and this is some of the stuff uh, that I sold last year. Uh, this is just the stuff that was on display when I did my last stalls. Um, some more gifts from people which is lovely. Uh, and this is some of my spiritual stuff when I'm, when I'm working. Uh, and my hoover. So I've got um, my giant wardrobe. It's massive. It's fully sized. It's like a full sized wardrobe. Uh, so I've got plenty of space for all my clothes. This is my uh, office space. I've just got some letters and well wishes from people and uh, some other things is quite interesting. I've got a, an actual um, star from somebody. Uh, and this is my workstation. I use, I've just got the iron axe, I've just done some laundry. And I, I've done a few bits and bobs here. I made some key rings today uh, and they're now on the website ready for people to purchase. I'll show you that later. Um, but that's where I'm going to be, be making my jewellery and my packaging. Sat out the window, it's lovely. Uh, I did buy another Kallax just to put some other stuff in, some crafting materials um, and things like that. And then this is the giant notes board that I'm going to be using on my course. So I'm going to use this to plan everything out for the year. It's my bed. A uh, little chair that somebody's bought me. Thank you again. Um, yeah, it's a huge space. It's, it's perfect for me. I can uh, do everything that I need to do. Uh, and luckily I'm not um, stuck in a tiny space. I, I, I've been like that for so many years and now I can actually spread my wings and open my arms out to both sides and you know, it's, it's great, it really is. So yeah, before I moved in, it was, it was a very different space. There's my Kallaxes um, in the hallway, but I'll take you in and I'll just show you what it looked like before. Because if you are moving in here and you're watching it as a student, then you, you sort of like get the idea that it's very, very empty. So there is a mirror, which is great. Plug sockets. Um, there's a shelf from before. So my stuff that I brought in. Got a heater. With the amazing wardrobe. Yeah, I tried to make it look nice as if it's my own space just by putting my things in but I think it works all right the view's all right that's actually i think it's aston university or i can't remember the, the word but i think it's aston they did provide a, a mattress protector which was really nice so i put that on straight away yeah not bad at all i'm just noticing little things in the room so it's sort of like documenting all the damage things as well. If they say oh, it was you, you did this, I'm like, well, no, actually, I didn't. I've recorded it, so I know it's not me. So, yeah, really, really cool. The shower is um, all sealed, it's like a wet room. So I can just have a shower and just dance around in the bathroom, I suppose, if I want to. But no, I just, uh, it's just amazing that I've got this space. And I was concerned that it was supposed to be for somebody that needed it. But they've explained that it's fine. Yeah, they've got plenty of them. So I was, it's fine for me to move into this room. Yeah. Just need to unpack all this. I've already done it, but it was very daunting when I first arrived. I can, I can only imagine what it must have been like if you were in a small space and having all this stuff to try and work out where things were going to live. So uh, somebody gave me some lights. So I've actually put them in my bed, in my like shelf thing. So I think they're really cool. So I've got those now. They turn on and off, change the colours. Uh, they keep falling down, but I, uh, they're all right. They, they are still up now. So I've got my bedding on. Yeah, that's my tablet. <laughs> so I've got... You can connect your device to this website. That's what you need to do when you move in. It's quite cool. So you can put all your different devices on there. But yeah, I've actually kept all my IKEA boxes so I can uh, take my Kallaxes down and move. Because I'm only staying here for a year. 
So I've kept the boxes um, so that I can do that because I can imagine that being quite difficult to move out. Uh, if I was trying to move out of the flat, I'd have to, I'd have to take it down. I wouldn't be able to carry that out. It's far too big and bulky. But it fits perfect in the space. And I did ask, by the way, I did ask if I could have that, and they said yes. So that's great. I think I've utilised the space quite well, actually. Um, a friend of mine once said, "Why don't you get a sofa?" And I was like. I'm all right. I like the idea of having this giant open space for exercise and yoga and things like that. And, and if somebody was to come round, it, you're not stuck. You can actually relax in space. Cool. Let's have some chocolate. Yeah, I'm just trying to find somewhere for my printer, but I don't know what to do with it. I'll just, I just—I think I put it on my desk for now, but it needs to—it needs to go somewhere else. I hate the bloody thing. So yeah, that's it. So. Next week I'll upload something else, but for now this is what I've been doing. I'll just share with you some of my jewellery that I've made this week. So this is my new uh, spiritual key rings. So I've got, uh, they're all, they all say witch on them, but if you wanted something different, like a family charm or something like a comment about a friend or an elephant or something, you can have that changed. Uh, so I've got all different crystals, aquamarine, amethyst, rose quartz, tiger's eye, uh, pyridot. There's all sorts of things. They're all on the website and I'll link that in the description below so you can have a look at the key rings. Um, there's about eight different types, but I've made them here in this room so it's very spiritual so for now i'll see you next week uh, and thank you so much for watching my video and keeping up to date join me next week for more spiritual theory like and subscribe to my youtube channel by hitting on the red button below and don't forget to press the bell icon so that you can keep up to date with all my content I hope you all have a wonderful week and remember, we are never truly alone for our friends and family live on in the realm of spirit and angels guide our every step. Thank you so much. Goodbye. <laughs>